Okay, we are here. We are live with some more new Pokemons. Yep. Last time we managed to get like five diamonds that we needed out of the ten remaining, so we're down to five only. Uh, we need Adino's five, a four star, Diglett's three star, Eevee's four star, Pukumuku's three star, and Tepig's four star. I'm kind of at a loss for most of these. Um, I think I want to mess with Eevee and Adino. Pr primarily Eevee, admittedly. Because I'm kind of stuck on Audino's four star. So we'll, we'll see what happens here. I'm just going to kind of speed around and see if we can get any of these today. Hopefully, hopefully a decent bit, if possible, but who knows. We'll see. Um, yeah, so the Audino thing, as far as I know, ties into Cutie Fly, but I've just not been able to figure out what exactly to do. And Eevee's, the only four star I've been able to find is its interactions with Cutie Fly, which hasn't really gone super well, unfortunately. Uh, I suck. Yeah, the cutie fly one is just kind of rough. The cutie fly EV shit is kind of rough. That's the stuff. It's just awkward to find him, and I have to like stay scoped in. Oh well, it's doing it now. I'm way too far for this to... No, I messed up anyway. Yeah, that one's tricky. There's gotta be an easier four star for Eevee. Or an easier way to go about doing that, at least. And there's something with that, you know, that I am... at a big-ass loss for. Uh, four star we've just not been able to get no matter what I do nice I'm really at a loss with the- I, I thought the Audino had to do with Cutie Fly. Uh, it, Cutie Fly's in the photo for it. I just like don't know what to do with it. I figure Audino's- once I figure it out shouldn't be hard. But yeah, okay, no. Hmm. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Sure. <laughs> Don't know how that one worked out, but we take it. Uh, usually the face shots go horribly wrong, so... Yeah, so that's the four star. That I don't understand what I need to do for. And then the EV four star is rough. I, I'm gonna mess with this a tiny bit. There's gotta be some other EV thing. Mm -hmm. Although I want to assume it's on the other, uh, the other home base one, or somewhere else entirely. I don't know. Could be the Meganium level or something, for all I know. Yeah, this Audino thing is just so unspecific. Just like standing there.
But I'm just kind of messing with it. Like, is it the arm thing? I like, I just, I don't know. I have no clue if the, the Eevee is any, or not the Eevee, the Cutie Fly even has anything to do with it. I feel like it should. I don't know. But yeah, now these last five were pretty much just at a loss. Like, Adino, I can't even figure the four star out. Diglett and Tapig after a pretty solid, oops, sorry, amount of effort. Uh, we haven't been able to get it anywhere near a uh, high enough, or enough to be confident on a any given spot for him. Eevee's four star seems too hard, and Pukumuku I'm not confident on either. So, this is going to take some experimentation. I'm going to have to be patient. I mean, if I get one or two today, that's pretty solid. The other two not come out? Come on. Okay. Whoa, really? Okay, it could have been worse. Like, I don't know if it's gonna get much better than that, though. Is the issue. Oh, that's bad. Slightly further away. Yeah, yeah, like I thought it might have to do with Audino and Cutie Fly being in the same photo, but like I haven't been able to get anything from that. Oh. Oh wait, let's. Oops, that's all your memory. Wrap it up and come on back. I'm just gonna keep messing with it and hope we find it. And I, wanna, I guess I want to see where we are with Eevee, because maybe this is more doable than I realize. Maybe I'm counting this one out a little too fast, just because it's complicated. Nothing. Okay. I'm probably not getting anywhere with it. That's actually further away. I don't have much hope for that. Now that. I don't think I can do it fast enough to get a good enough pose score. Not pose Great score. Timing. Oh my god, okay, well, like a size score, I mean. But yeah, even if we combine the best elements here, is not a huge difference. Like, we're just, like, nowhere near it. We're, like, 3,600. There's gotta be another 4-star for EV. There's gotta be. There's all, if, if it seems too hard, there's always something else. That's basically what I've learned from this whole thing. Is there's usually something you can fairly confidently get. For any given storage. Which means we're missing something for EV. Ardino, on the other hand, no clue. <laughs> this is where I'm at. I'm at no clue with Ardino. Um, yeah, Eevee reacting to Stoutland seemed to always be a two-star. Uh, there's, 
I feel like the most feasible thing for Eevee is on the other level. I... I mean, there could be a four-star Abdino on that level. I don't really know. We're probably gonna have to end up settling for trying to do these one at a time. It gives me more flexibility. <sighs> Let's see. Oh yeah, yeah. This one is pretty forgiving time-wise. I'm not too worried about it. And especially because we, we, if we just need to figure out how the hell to get the four star. Yeah, I feel like we're just doing the same thing over and over again, and I'm not getting anywhere. Right, Sudo Wudo? I'm just not getting anywhere. Oops, right, Bunnelby? I'm not getting memory. anywhere. Wrap it up and come on back. <laughs> Good to see you. No. Not a Ouch. not a Yeah, we don't seem to be doing any better. I don't know why I just took these because it was kind of funny. <laughs> May as well get all the. You never, you never know when you just accidentally get a high score like that Audino nice. close-up that somehow just worked out. Great timing. Perfect timing. God, we're, we're like struggling to get past 3600 even. Wait, there's gotta be something else. Nice work. It's just a matter of what. Nice work. That would have been a pretty funny high score. Nice work. Um. I mean, hey, we at least got an EV high score. Maybe I try messing with some of the shit in there. Mm -hmm. That isn't that, just to see if I could find some random ass EV four star. Oh, that's really our biggest goal here. It's just to find shit.
I'm trying the same shit over and over. Yeah, my strategy is literally just like do the same thing multiple times and see if that suddenly makes anything happen. Because <laughs> I'm kind of at a loss for what to do here. Like, we get Cutie Fly to go over there. I mean, unless we just try to literally lure Cutie Fly over there without the double feed. Um, I guess we've been trying to consistently do the feed method. I. No clue why that would work, to be honest, but, like, you just gotta try shit sometimes. Whoa, really? most with this too. Nice. This is kind of just the same thing. No clue. out of memory let's call that enough research for now oh, I did do the thing huh hello I'm at a loss here for both of them I'm just gonna like, give it whatever it recommends yeah Can we try that? I feel like we can get a better one star going. All right. Nice work. Nice work. Deadly things are not going great. Nice work. Um. Hard to say, like. Hard to say what's worth the time. Oh boy. Sometimes I'm just too stubborn for my own good, you know? There's gotta be some other EV four star. Um, I can't feel confident about the Audino though, because given where it's positioned, a four star would be easy to do if I knew how to do it. I feel like, thus making me think that there's no alternate four stars. <laughs> Although I could be wrong. Whoa, really? 
Wait. Some sort of like secret tech there I can like figure out <laughs> where I get Eevee to block me. Well, I tried. Alright. Like, does it do anything different than if now? Uh. Beats me. We're not getting anywhere with any of this. <laughs> now then. Perfect timing. I don't think we can do much better, to be honest. I really don't. Like, sure, it's an improvement. But we would need a significantly better size score, most likely. That's really the only thing we could improve. I don't know how to get almost 300 size off of this. Like, I don't think there's a way to do that. Perfect timing. Great timing. Hmm. Try on the other camp a tiny bit. Ugh. See if we get anywhere. Ooh. Jeez. Ah. All right, I bunked you. Not what I'm here for, but <laughs> we take him. <laughs> here we go. There's Adino in here. Do in any way interact? I don't think Odina does anything here. I really don't. That is such a fucking loss for Odino and Eevee. I guess more so Odino, but still.
Nice. Well, if there were to be a four star, that probably is the only one. Three star. Seem to do anything unique. Oops, that's all your memory. Wrap it up and come on back. Yo, yo, yo. Excellent, almost that one there. Unfortunately, I don't think we're getting anywhere. Let's do this. Great timing. Really is a struggle out here. Nice that was exactly a thousand points lower. Nice no. work. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. I can see if I can get it to do anything of any interest. Excuse me. While I, while well, it's on the table with Trubbish. I I get a couple quick photos. Kind of being silly. Oh, we'll get Starly in there too, even. <laughs> Okay, um, oh boy. I feel like I'm at a point where I just want to like bounce around and try to find anything, but at the same time, I feel like bouncing around is such a bad strategy. General situation like this. It sits with cutie fly. Was it? Damn it, I was really hoping. Games out here like, oh, you should get excited. <laughs> I was like, maybe, just maybe, because it sits with the cutie fly for the poor stuff. Ah, I got excited. Shh, 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 shh. Levels out to get me.
is Trevor's doing here? I don't know, man. I don't know if I really tried having Meowth and Eevee interact. Oh, I didn't even grab the Stalin. I guess that's one thing I haven't really tried. I don't think I'm getting anywhere else with it. I can try the Meowth shit just for the hell of it. Good to see you. Otherwise, I'm at a loss. I don't know, man. All right. Perfect timing. Nice work. Ugh. Perfect timing. Had a big dinner and now I'm sleepy. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Let's see. Um, yeah, we'll see if there's any mouth interactions or rather head interactions. I doubt it, but like. Bro, I shan't tell a lie, I do not have it in me to st rip. I get that. Mm-hmm. Uh. Pikachu looks so shocked! Oh boy. Well, that makes me feel better. I'm not getting anywhere. You can help me theory craft. I went to look at my homework and there's only three problems, but I am looking at a wall of text. Yeah. What's that? I don't react to that. Something. Two. 
Probably some of the homework that worry about the midterm in between since I just don't have a duty to do a test. I get that. I don't know if Bunnaby Bun can go out this far. You wanna call? No, we're, uh, sure, I can call. I'm down. Good to see you. As long as I, oh, as long as I won't distract you. Hello. Hello, Rackpick 100. That's a me. That's a you. Me. <sighs> um. Yeah, I'm currently out here struggling to heal. What are you trying to do? Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get a, an alternate four-star Audino and Eevee. Mm. Actually, I'm trying to figure out how to recreate the four-star Eevee. What was the four-star Eevee? Uh, it's the cutie fly challenge where like, they run around and then Eevee sits down. Oh! Uh, but that is like, you can't do it fast enough to get a high enough size score. Nice work. And Audino, I just am failing to recreate. Whatever the hell it is. I think it has something to do with the cutie fly interaction, but like, I'm just not getting it. it you have to feed it twice, I think. Yeah, no, no, I could get the cutie fly to go over there. It's just, I can't get the Audino to be a four star. Oh. Uh... Yeah. Illumina? Uh, I, I've tried music? that. Music? Uh, I've tried music, yeah. Damn. I've probably tried anything that at least is an immediate thought. And multiple times in a row with that. Yeesh. Um. I don't know. Yeah, actually, okay, I'm gonna go back to the other. Level. I think we're gonna get further in there. I did not mean to hit evaluate photos. I don't have photos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, look all depressed and sad, Professor. Mr. I won't give you a diamond! <laughs> mm -hmm. Actually, real quick, I'm also gonna close the windows because it's now getting chilly in here. this back pretty soon I might have to just switch to something else then you get to help me theory craft that no <laughs> who doesn't love some theory crafting I can use words that make me sound intelligent even though I'm not <laughs> okay well we're gonna try the four star EV the one thing I did realize is you can get Eevee to block your vehicle with fluff fruit. Hmm. So that is my idea would be to block myself as early as possible. You also still have to wait for like the animation of them running around. Oh, do I not need to illuminate with all of them? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wow. 
Okay, maybe this is doable. For some reason, I thought you would Illumina Orb all three Beauty Flies, oh. but that might not be the case. I think a guide lied to me. Oh. Or I'm just dumb. Give <laughs> you a feather. The fruit. That's all your memory. Okay. Wrap it up and come on back. Yeah, unfortunately the, the four star I have, the photo and the caption are just so useless at figuring out what the situation was. Damn. Like I had a four star for it I was struggling to recreate, but I at least knew mm -hmm. what it was that I was trying to recreate. Like this is a case where I just don't even know what I'm going for. Mm, yeah, I get it. Um, if not, that's... Excuse me, who? Molesting. Ha, that must be all the swag trying to leave my body. <laughs> so true. You know, I probably could have said something worse. Probably. <laughs> Let's do this. Probably. Nice work. Perfect timing. Oh, never mind. That EV wasn't that bad. I just did it. Uh, okay, I think I was just making that harder on myself by trying to Illumina Orb all of them when I didn't need to. Huh. Well, that's one down. Four to go. Audito is one of them, and I have no clue how to do it. Still. Might give it one or two more shots and then just switch it up for my sanity. And I want to see if I can figure out an even higher scoring way to do that EV. No, it took 43 minutes to get a high score. Could be worse. Nah, it's actually... <laughs> by the standards of recently, that's not too, too bad. Close-up of a happy pseudo-wudo. Close-ups of faces are always the best. Does Audino want for a four-star? We'll see if we can figure it out. If we can't, damn. And after that, we just have Biglet, Puku, Muku, Big. That Big and Diglet are cases, yeah, where I. I found a method, I just am not convinced I can get diamond on him. Mm -hmm. And Pukumuku, actually Pukumuku is the same. I have, and yeah, they're all kind of like that where I'm just not sure if I can do it.
TV thing. That's fine. I don't know if it would have been much better anyway. Gardino, you wanna be nice? Oh, really? Would have thought Adina would be the problematic one. Nice. Um, yeah, I feel like I've tried so much with like Audino being the subject and Cutie Fly in the frame, and that doesn't you. seem to do it. Like, IDK, mate. That was accidentally Pikachu. Nice work. Nice work. Nice work. <laughs> that was a, it was like I, I got a cutie fly photo, cutie fly photo, and it was just like on the top of Ardino's head at the bottom of the frame. <laughs> like it was like trying to get in the photo, but it was too short. No. I look at that face and I how could I do that? Not evil. No, wait, I wanted to find the cutie fly photo to save because it was goofy. Or was it? This one. Okay, we run it back. Uh, the other thing I can just fuck with is not going inside. I don't think that would make a difference, but it's worth a shot. I feel like I've tried it a little bit. Twice. Does that mean you're gonna see Odino? Did I feed you too far away? If it's not here nor there, then it may not really just Hello. be anywhere. Oh, true. Shit! Okay. I, uh, I'm gonna go analyze the photo one last time. All right. And probably just go switch to a Big different timing. Pokemon before I lose my sanity. Thankfully, I have so many options. I keep putting- I've been putting off Pukumuku. I just haven't been getting very far with it. <laughs> to be fair though, I've 
pretty thoroughly investigated all four of these at this point. Yeah, I think you're allowed to look into it. I'm gonna give it a little- I have a little- I still have some patience, but... It just means I'm at a point of... Like, uh, what do I do? Yeah, I get oh, it. What the f How does the- What it makes this so different than every other instance of this exact same situation? Literally, the caption is just happy vibes. I can't tell what it's doing. Like, everything that would make sense, I feel like I've tried. Again, the caption is vibes. Adino is looking at cutie fly who may be doing a spin. All I got. Okay. Uh, should I just keep my more? Is here. Maybe I'll, I'll do a tiny bit of puking. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of mooking. A little bit of mooky. Head, do some puking, do some mute Poopy. Poopy Probably just a few variations of this one photo I've been trying for a while. Is hey, you know what? I was surprised with the Eevee scenario. Maybe maybe I'm just overlooking something here. I'm getting caught on a specific detail when I should be not. Sometimes that happens where yeah you get caught up so much in one Whoa, really? one thing that Hmm. Although I'm not feeling too confident on the details here. <laughs> Good to see you. Kind of brute force this a bit. Now then, nice work. Let's see here. I'm able to get this size and direction, or this direction and placement, but also get the size I have a chance. I just don't know if that's even doable. I mean, I've primarily been focusing on the right one. Could try the left one a little more. Um. Oh, 
here, speed over here. We're gonna go speed over here. We're speeding and we're going over here. Where did Magic Herb go? Uh. Alright, and I think there's a reason I go for the one on the right. Easier one to get a good size on. Whoa, really? Hello. Whoa. Nice work. Yeah, we're losing too much. I mean, we did get a high score, but we're losing so much size. Uh, to be fair, I haven't even been able to really replicate 1600 ever. Um, there's a little room for placement and direction. That's really it. Okay. We're 3,800. We're not, like, we're not impossibly mm -hmm. far off. It's just that I don't know if this is the method. Have I messed with these? I know I can't Illumina Orb them because then they stop fighting and then it starts being a two star. Take care. Let's see. Ooh. I get loud fucking yawns sometimes at night. I get it. Where's that magic carp go? It just vanishes. that help? I can lure the other Pukamuku there? It could potentially give me more bonus points. Alright. Nice work. <laughs> I mean other Pokemon points, I guess. Hmm. Gotta love Pukey Mookie, it's tiny and that makes it <laughs> tricky. Every time this crawler blocks me. Eh, at least it's not the mighty Anna and Durice. Those guys really make it slow. It's true. They all know where that magic herb goes. God damn, it just goes to fucking space.
Let's see. How was it? Keep slowly making improvements. We'll maybe get there eventually. I don't think this getting me very far. Let's do this. Nice work. Hmm, got me a high score. We do keep okay. making improvement. I don't know, can we actually get answer is I do not know. Yeah. Um My strategy has literally just been come drag the other pukamuku into the frame and hope it works. <laughs> and just hope I get those big bonus points. Wow, we were much closer. Yeah, I'm just gonna trust what it gave me. I don't think I'm getting it this one. I don't think I'm even getting a high score here. Now then. Nice work. Something valuable. But no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the other Pokemon bow is just is it enough? They're not doing anything, so it like I don't care. Good luck. Hello, Mr. Block Me Slightly Every Time, Cabrawler. Like, oh, you want to go fast? Oh Well I am a Cabrawler, I do not allow fast. Oh, it goes deep underwater. Did it fall through the floor? You know what? Whatever. Whoa, really? I swear there's like slightly different fucking hello i swear sometimes we get so close to pukumuku and other times we're like miles away what the f how did i get this close i'm so confused why i am suddenly like way closer to it do this. Nice work. What? We got it. That doesn't make any sense. 
So there's like slightly different paths that it must take, depending on maybe where I'm looking, but why would it? Mm -hmm. That's weird. And I can't complain too much because I got it, but like, what? Well, it's one more. That's two down in one night. Honestly, that went. Oh, I want to mess with this a tiny bit now. I guess for our best bets, then I go to Tepig and Diggle it. Take care. Maybe it's because I said hello to the Crabrawler nicely. I was like, "Hey, Brawly, Crawl, Bra, Rubby Wubby Brawly Wally." <laughs> You know what they say about Krabby Wubby Bolly Brawly Bolly. Oh. <laughs> and. I mean, I did scan. I was like, where's the magic card? It just. It's up. Okay. Bro, I feel... Why am I on the... Maybe if you're zoomed in, does it let you get closer to them? Does that Maybe? Work in a lot of spot? Okay, wait. If I apply this same general theorem... To, say, Diglett here... Would that potentially help me? Am I? Now then. I wonder why that wasn't happening nice work. before. I mean, the only difference is I fucking Illumina a rant executor, but that was that doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is weird. Doesn't really help us much, but okay. <laughs> that wouldn't help us with Tepig. That was the case. I'm actually gonna do this at level two because it's a little bit easier to get the the one Tepig four star I know about. Diglett, I have three things, and I don't think any of them really go well. Good luck. How deep does the zoom iceberg go? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Rising Hunter, are you about to start discovering things? Yeah, the the next hack stuff. I don't know. Oh, that's not. Don't think I was any closer there. Oh wait, wait, we gotta take the alternate path. Am I too late? It's too late. I blinked. Well, <laughs> Let's see if this Diglett gets me anywhere. I, I probably not. There's a fluffer in front of it, so. And that was horrendously centered. But I guess, hey, if I get a suddenly much larger size score. Now then. Perfect timing. I don't think I did, no. <laughs> I don't even know. Mm -hmm. This is the big one I think has made the most sense to me. I'm sure there's something else, though. Mm -hmm. I said that about Pukamuku, so who knows? We're gonna find. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna see. Good luck. He's just looking in a random direction, zoomed in, hoping, hoping it takes me closer. Ooh. 
Ish. But I'm like trying to wheel it forward. I don't think that's changing it for this one. Probably in specific spots on certain levels. So I, I had a feeling that that may have happened in a few spots prior. Okay, I just gotta do that first. Um, I had a feeling it did it, but I was not confident. I don't even know if this is the right diglet. It probably isn't. All right. Perfect timing. Yeah, no. Oh, girl. The issue is, the other three-star diglets I know about also don't feel particularly viable. <laughs> Makes me think I potentially am missing something. I mean, hey, maybe maybe the zoom happens more in level Good three. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Boulder do crashy. Now we gotta mess with the Tepic thing, which I also am not confident is gonna work out. But! Sometimes you gotta try things. And just take random photos of Crestal on occasion. Like, why not? May as well. <laughs> um, unless there's a way to get closer to these guys. Now this has become my new like anxiety. <laughs> what if I can get closer than I thought I could? I think that one is always a three. Well, I'm guessing someone's coming home. <laughs> Oh, Good old dogs. Dogs be barking. Dogs be barking. Whoa, really? Uh, question is, can I get anywhere with this time? I feel like the answer is no, but you know, you gotta try. I'm already getting further away, Rip. Nice. That's way too far. I don't know where it goes after this. It goes somewhere. I don't know if it appears in the level anymore though. That somehow would help me. Let's see. How was it? There's gotta be something else that's four star for Tepig. Crystal. Not the best framing in the world. Not perfectly centered, but we're on with it. You get a high score, cool. It's don't need the diamond for it anymore. Perfect timing. Nice work. I'm thinking there's a different dig. Perfect timing. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not particularly close to a diamond with this tap nice work. Uh Well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got time to mess with it. Um hmm. Might have to start from the start from the drawing board.
first can we get to this thing? Wrong button. Wait, no, I can't get that big, can I? I get caught up on Ditto and forget to do the thing. Ever, they Ditto Diglet. I forget to do it every time. Good to see you. Tragic. Let's see anything here of interest? Probably not. Uh, I probably should give this Tepig thing one or two more shots just to really feel time. confident about it. I feel I can be fairly confident about Diglet here. Um, okay. run it back, go from there. Focus purely on Tepig right now. Somehow it works out. I think it had tucked in as just a one star. If I'm not mistaken. We'll just zoom ahead. Oh. I, think I might actually be able to get closer to that one. This way, room. Crazy, there's some secret way to get up there that I didn't know about. That would solve the issue. Is that that would make it easy? <laughs> Wouldn't even be fucking surprised. <laughs> Given that one hidden path on the Boonja jungle. Okay, I was messed up anyway. Yeah, there's no way this is better. Um. Okay. Now then. Nice well, I think it's time to go back to experimentation, nice folks. Yeehaw! Uh, do we want to start with level one? Mm -hmm. Is that worth the effort? Maybe I should just start on level three here. Do three day and night first. I feel like if there's a, a chance of this better here. Good luck. That's such a ridiculous stuff. Bonk. Bonk. The four star does not help me. Oh, bank. Like, wait, just right now. I don't have both of them in the frame. Does that affect anything? Does that affect the storage by any chance? Are. 
I'm trying to see if every diglet in the level goes anywhere ever. Still don't know what the hell this means. Any luck since I've been gone? Uh, were you here when I got Pukamuku? <laughs> I think I was, because I think I left when you were doing the oh, okay, yeah, Badlands. Then, okay, yeah, then no, no luck on anything. Yeah, okay. That doesn't take me anywhere. What's he doing? I don't know this can it's like sniffing around. Doesn't pay attention to the fluff I feel like something tells me that might be important for something. But it might also just be not anything at all. I guess you don't know until you try. So true. Our diglets around here, although I don't think they get me anywhere. It's time. Like, I can play whack-a-mole, but doesn't really help, I don't think. And I'll say, all suddenly appear and turn into one giant buff diglet. Just a one. <laughs> yeah, that's a star. That's a two star. Okay. Let's start with that Kangish Khan and the Tepig. My perfect timing. My desperate thought for the moment. <laughs> Nice work. I'm gonna step away real quick. I'll just put a silly Pokemon photo on the screen. For the moment. Let's see, what's a good one? Well, that's a good one. Oh yeah, we can just do a long diglet. Okay, I'll be right back. Be your beat. Mm-hmm.
Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm back. I've got liquid, so I will remain hydrated. <laughs> yes. That's my evil noise. Like, I'm out of idiglets. Out of idiglets? No! That wasn't supposed <laughs> to be a pun! <laughs> You're so evil. How uh, dare you? Yeah. I have to ban you from your own stream now. And for the other diglet to play catch with. Catch or fetch with. Anyone to interact with? Piglet? Oh. What's gonna happen with Torchic? Slow. That's the stuff. Oh my god, that happens every time? Wait. Oh, Ooh. I thought that was just specific to... That's interesting. Wonder if we can do something with that. small revelation. I'm not sure if it's going to help me in any meaningful way, but still good to know. Hey, a coughing does It's so insane. Unless I decide to do a the silly cobra thing, I could uh, I could skip that and see if it behaves differently, just to know. Hello. A little bit of desperation going on in here. Okay, a lot of desperation going on in here. Oh, that's just the one star? Damn. That dang horror movie pose. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Alright. Great timing. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Nice work. Nice work. I mean, I'm gonna have to save a couple of these Swalot photos. <laughs> Funny. Okay, there, there were a couple things I found on this level I've been meaning to show you, Bridget. I don't know if you want to do that or if you're... Sure. Okay. There's a couple of things I think at night and a couple of things at day. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so I'll just show you the day things for now. Yeah, that, that's like a horror movie right there. It is kind of funny though. Yeah, no. It's a horror movie if you're coughing. 
I need that front. I need front facing Swalot. Okay. So let me think here. What I want to show you exactly. Okay. Uh, Good luck. I think I can do two things here. Okay. Uh, are you watching? Just so I know. Mm hmm. I am. Alright, so one involves this Diglet here. So if you throw like a fluff fruit at him, he'll go over to this spot. And it's just this mm -hmm. specific Diglet. Here, I'll, I'll get a gooder. Better, better angle of it. And then if you throw a fluff it again, he he gets a little annoyed and throws dirt at you. <laughs> <laughs> like, really? Uh, Leave me alone. Yeah, he's like, what the hell, dude? Okay, so that's number one. Whee! Number two coming up involves... They're tour chicks. Mm -hmm. So if you throw some fluff fruit, oh crap, we're this way more. You notice the one over here is hacking at the floor. It's like, what are you, what are you looking at for, tour chick? Mm -hmm. so if you get all three of them to come over here and start pecking at the floor. Oh god, I accidentally bonked one. Evil. You get all three of them. Only likes to get stuck on the other. They start digging. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, then you have to illuminate one, I think. You gonna do it? Where's it not doing it? No! Uh. There it is. Oh no! It's all over. Yeah, I love the way they fall. <laughs> they just like bunk. And the diglet looks so like the diglet looks so proud of itself. Uh, okay, and then on level two, let me think. Uh, two minor things, and then I actually realized I missed something on level three, but that's do the alternate path thing for. Honestly, I think the Diglett Torchic thing is probably by far the most interesting, because it's just fucking funny. Because of how dramatically the Torchic jump and then fall down. <laughs> you're just like, you're like, really, guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's just so silly. Like, it wasn't that scary. Yeah. <laughs> They're just it's okay. Be nice to them. They're little babies. They are. Just another reason to like torture. Um, and then another thing over here that is goofy. Oh yeah, there's the there's a rock rocket rough and a lichen rock, lichen rock here on level two. Here is it? Just Illumina Orb, but he does a little thingy. Like what? Boom! And the rock rough runs around all excitedly <laughs> when it does it. <laughs> and then there's these three guys just sleep. Let's sleep over here. They're very cute together. Yeah. Losing. Little no guys. Yeah. Uh, and then because I already made it this far, Lumina Orb him. You already know about this one, so just the challenge. <laughs> oh, wow. That's his four star. Okay. One sec. Submit these photos. How was it? There's, just, there's so much in this game. Oh, this is a this is, this is a three-star diglet. Yeah, we'll try that out of curiosity. Figuring out the best photos. Mm 
This is a minor detour. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Perfect timing. Nice work. Perfect timing. I get on your high score. No. <laughs> nice work. Oh no, there. Nice work. You know, there. <laughs> Perfect timing. Okay. Not a single high score. Bang. What was me? Okay. Yeah, one more, okay. one more little run through, and then I can let you get back to homework. Mm -hmm. Wait, what was the last thing you showed me? Uh, the school of Pete stuff. Where it was like sleeping with the yeah, guys? and then I got one more yeah. one more lap to do, and then I will be will be able to get back to homework. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's Sorry, I didn't mean to get distracted. Huge. I was just submitting photos, so. Okay, I was just making sure I'm like I didn't want to miss anything. I'm like, oh no. Don't tell me I've been a bad viewer. Take a little. Hang on, I was trying to. Okay, I am testing one. It's not going very well. Okay. Wait. Oh, I turned around right as it happened. No. That's okay. I thought <laughs> yeah, I could actually do with that single diglet as well. I did not realize that. <laughs> okay. I think I think I can actually do this one thing on level two, which is not. Okay. So if you bunk, there's a specific diglet. It runs over here and goes, and then Tepig sees it and goes, oh, there's a Diglett down there, right? Oh. But then if you proceed to bonk Silly Cobra to get it up, it's like, ah, oh, yes, I can get behind it. And then it blows it. <laughs> yeah. Gives him a little sneeze. <laughs> and then finally, hopefully I can get this. Uh, so if you you can actually lure. Oh wait, is that a bad throw? Okay, wait, it's working. Hang on. These guys over to here. We'll start digging. Actually, uh. <laughs> yeah, I was trying so long. I was like, there's got to be some way to get a mini or in this level to do something. That's all I've been able to find, but it was something. <laughs> so. Hey. That's all. <laughs> some fun stuff in there. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, no problem. Late enough, I suddenly find anything else. Or if I switch tonight, I think there's like one thing. Perfect timing. Just so much on this one specific level for whatever reason. Nice work. Nice work. Oh, they're shockingly high. What was with the Diglett popping out by that other Torchic? I feel like there's some potential there. Am I gonna get it? I just have, have. But the only way to know is to try. So oh, true. Okay, Good luck. yeah. Damn it, we need all the. anything we can get. Way too short. Oh, sorry, Mandibug. I didn't mean to hit ya.
could be some potential there. And the ones around here. You haven't tried. Case that affects a big bay. Something with this epic, I feel like. How was it? I just don't know what, if anything. Do that one just cause it's probably a lot better direction. All right. Let's see. Is there any nice work? Potential with this Diglett. It wasn't amazing. That is a huge other Pokemon bone. If I can manage to get the size big, there I feel like there's potential. Although that's probably not easy to do. I, I don't know if Diglett always goes to the same spot. It seems like there's a chance that it does. This means we just need to lure Torchic over. Good luck. No, Todd, you good luck. Oh, huh, poor Torchic! <laughs> Good start off. Here, I'll give you food to make you feel better. No. Oh! But you cooked the whole thing! No! So what the silly cult Literally anything. 
Full-blown sniffing. I don't know, maybe there isn't anything to do with it there. I am getting very intrigued by this Diglett scenario, though. I feel like there's... pretty solid potential. This isn't enough. Okay, I I really feel like there's potential. I was just a little late on it. Perfect timing. Great timing. I think this is probably the Diglett method. You just leave Tepig, mm -hmm. where I'm at a loss for it. Okay. <laughs> so silly looking. It is. Um, you're so, so evil. Well, then it has like, it like lays on the the floor for a second in existential crisis mode. <laughs> Like, what is my life? This Diglett, it spooked me. And it runs away scared for like a second and then fine again. <laughs> Which is kind of just how animals are. <laughs> <laughs> and I scare Pumpkin, and she's like, ah! And I'm like, you're fine. She's like, yeah, you're right, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Which reminds me, like, every night, the pigs are, like, when I come out the, the room after my stream, they, mm -hmm. uh, they're just, like, sitting there, uh, waiting for hay every time, and I don't, like, at this point, I'm like, I don't even know how they know, like, I'm like, is it just them knowing the time? Do they know my Twitch outro? Like, <laughs> They just hear you like, that are things up for a nice stream. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. They just start going, whoops. Yeah. They're like, finally, he's done streaming. I want to go are to bed. Are they just fast to reacting to me opening the door? Like. Yeah. They're psychic. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Take my earbuds out for a minute. Wee. Right. Awesome. Another big stuff out. Whoa, really? Nice. Resting bed multiple times. Doesn't seem like it. Uh, 
crap is this? Maybe this topic just doesn't. They just not do anything. It might happen. Might just be a way to prevent it from finding Minior on this level. It's only a level 2 it. thing. I don't know. I don't know why that would be the case, but... I want to make sure I get as much torch chicken as I can. I didn't mean to go through those tepic photos. Oops. Let's do this. Great timing. Oh, let's go! Diglett three star diamond is done. Let's I go. Done. I feel like I could have done even better on that. Might give it another shot or two real quick just for funsies. We have two to go. They're both four stars tepic and Adino. Adino, I have no clue how to do tepig. Well, Adino, I know I've gotten a four star and I don't know how to recreate it. Tepig, I know a four star, but it just does not seem feasible for Diamond. <laughs> so, slightly different problems, although, well, basically the same result. Um, I do want to give Tepig more time. I mean, I did find this Diglett thing, for example. Uh, do you know I might be getting ready to throw in the towel, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't blame you. Um, what I might honestly consider doing is looking at the high score photo for it and seeing if I can get anything out of that. Wait for it. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I just got a photo of Torchic laying on his back. All right. Unfortunately, Great quite timing. goofy. Great timing. Kind of determined. I'm gonna give one more Diglett, one or two more Diglett photo shots, and then I gotta get to full focus typing. I'll probably switch over to night because I'm kind of out of ideas for day, at least day three. Um, we will. We'll see. Hey, good luck. No, oh, Todd, you need the luck. You have failed to deal with. It annihilate you at any moment. Is there anything I can do with this Kangaskhan here? That would help with the Kangaskhan later or something weird. I'm kind of getting to a point where I'm just going off crackpot theories. Mm -hmm. But like... That's just where I'm at. Mm -hmm. I didn't even- oh, I meant to go check. <laughs> Oops, that's fine. Try that. Maybe this 
Torchic bonus points come in handy. Great timing. Hey, slightly higher, we take it. Great timing. One more shot because I'll mess with the Kangaskhan briefly. I doubt it has anything to do with it, but. Sometimes you just gotta try shit. <sighs> Excuse me. Good luck. Try feeding Kangas. My genius plan. I must have torch. I might have messed up. I must have messed up. Oh well. Wait, maybe this will work out. Oh no, it didn't work out. I mean, I'll get it. I'll get the photo, but I won't be good if I don't think. Yeah, I'm gonna be too far away. Oh, really? Yeah, maybe by some miracle. That's fine. Oh. And there is this thing I still never figured out with the sweet smell. I don't know if there's anything to do with anything, but uh, I noticed it. <laughs> Uh, excuse me. Whew. Anything change over here? No. Okay. I can get it to stop. Looking in brief snippets, but it doesn't. Yeah, I don't think there's anything there, to be honest. Okay. Uh, let's check out Knight then, I guess, because. Good to see you. I don't really have any other better ideas. I don't think that's gonna do anything with the Kangaskhan, but I wanted to try. Do this. Do this. Nice work. Damn, game sucks. Great timing. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, let's return to camp real quick. Thank you. We got anywhere. Here just for Tepic, I don't need to think twice about Ditto. Diglet. Why do I keep calling Diglet Ditto? Because they're just both so silly. I mean, they are, and they both start with D I. True. And they're two syllables. I mean, it's not like the most absurd failure in the history of mankind. Probably. Sorry, I randomly came across- I went down- I randomly went down a rabbit hole, and there's like, 
Have you ever heard of uh, the film producer Lucifer Valentine? Oh, it does sound vaguely familiar, but... Uh, the film that they were talking about was something called Slaughtered Vomit Dolls, and it's like one of those, oh, like... Oh, that sounds it was, very like... vaguely familiar. Um, and I love how most, like, it has like a 2.3 out of 10 on IMDb. Yeah. Um, from what it sounds like, um, it ultimately fails to either entertain shock or put forth any novel ideas. Uh -huh. Um, they, <laughs> one of the, the crit uh, critics, uh... From, um, there was like a website for like horror movies or whatever, and one of the film reviews for it said, If you need a movie to have some sort of form of linear story, don't bother with this one. If you're tired of seeing women constantly berated and insulted and shown as weak and scared, don't bother with this one. And if vomit isn't your thing, yeah, definitely don't bother with this one. Do it! Uh, that one's the biggest shock. <laughs> of course. I'm just like... I'm just looking... Like, I'm... From what I can tell, this isn't even, like, his only film like this. He has more films that are very similar to this, and it's just like, sir... Get a life. Surely... Hmm? Like, sir, get a life. Literally, it's like... Oh, sorry, I guess there was a trilogy. Uh... The, this, the Vomit Dolls one was a trilogy. Uh, where the final one was called Slow Torture Puke Chamber, of course. <laughs> like at this point, it just seems like <laughs> I like that somebody in the IMDb thing just said it reads like fetish content. Yeah, I'm not that, even just shocked. hearing that <laughs> does sound mildly fetishy. Nice work. <laughs> yeah. Perfect timing. Not accusing anyone of being fetishy, of course. Bro, oh my god, what the fuck? I found the tepig. I I real I thought of something. You know how there's the rock rough mandibus thing at night where the rock rough roars and scares away the mandibus? Yeah. I was like, I don't think I've ever tried waking up the other Pokemon first. So Tepig like runs up and attempts to scare it off and it doesn't work. But that's another uh -huh. four star. And first try I got to 4097. And it's not that even like really that great of a photo. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, hey, you got it. Yeah, no, I'm... That was like... Not even that bad, all things considered. Perfect time. I just never tried that. It's literally, we just have Audino 4 star. We have 4 done today, that's crazy. I don't know, I've been... Yeah, last time I played in today, I've been on a fucking roll for whatever reason. That's just because you're so good at this game. Yeah, hee <laughs> hee. I'm gonna give it like one or two more attempts just to see if I, because I probably can get something higher. And I'm also kind of <laughs> curious what happens if I wake up like Torchic and Shinx. Yeah. Um. They're gonna have it. <laughs> Go ahead. No, but yeah, it's just Audino. Just Audino. Which I'm only at a major mild loss. <laughs> major mild. Only a major mild loss. Yeah. I'm gonna say, there's been like a post going on Twitter recently where it's asking people what experience in the workplace radicalized them, and I just saw one or somebody said they got interviewed and hired by Old Navy when they were in college. They gave them their availability and the manager gave them exactly hours that they couldn't do. <laughs> just those hours. And said, we all want to work whenever we want. Doesn't mean work revolves around your time. Uh, Non-shockingly, uh, they never ended up working there because they couldn't make the hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like, literally a job like that generally does revolve around when someone can work. Literally, like, it truly, it's not that hard. I, even on my current job, I'm like, hey, sorry, I'm gonna be gone. And literally, they're just like, yeah, that's fine. Just, I don't care. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> literally, like, like a fucking retail job, like, that. that's just how that works. Like, people apply, you know, with, usually, you know, the, that's, like, the first thing decided upon is... Like, this is when I can and cannot work. Oh, yeah. There was... Like, it's like that boss a... didn't want... I mean, unless they gave ridiculous hours or something, but, like... It's but like the boss the didn't gave, want like, to get new hires. Oh, yeah, no, somebody said it just sounds like the boss is just going, like, power trips when it comes to this sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then are shocked when people don't want to work there, and it's like, what do you think was going to happen? It's like, yeah, well, this... He seems like one of those, like... Fucking like LinkedIn obnoxious bosses of like, yeah, well they 
clearly they're not good enough to work for us if they can't make time for, you know, like, one of that kind of fucking shit. Except it's fucking Old Navy. <laughs> and nobody, like, yeah, nobody cares. It's not a serious job. Exactly. It's Old Navy. <laughs> Speaking of more, of more intense jobs, there's a guy who should have worked on Spongebob. I think it sounds like he met in, like, a storyboarder uh, or something, but, like... Uh -huh. Uh, and he said in 2000, like in the year 2000, he learned that each wow. new Spongebob episode it recouped its entire production cost by the middle of the second commercial break in its premiere airing. Um, he said, we didn't and still don't get residuals, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Damn, it didn't work in the forest. And he mentioned, to be fair, it's just because it was nowhere near as union. Like, there's just no union so, <laughs> at the time, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I wonder how often animators generally get residuals yeah i uh, mean i think it was it's probably something that like would help especially because it sounds like they probably also don't just get paid a whole lot and it's oh yeah and I, in the video, it's like they should. and like when it comes to something like spongebob like one of the most productive i mean i, I guess in 2000 they didn't know it was going to be the most uh intense ip at the time but yeah. like i still feel like you know they're i'm like you know they still don't get rid <laughs> I'm like, surely they don't need that much money from Spongebob. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think, yeah, it would be great if every artist who works on any art project like that should get residuals, you know, especially if it gets back, you know, recoups all the money spent. Exactly. Unfortunately, yeah, it's not realistic. No. And then, cause then it also turns like, into, I like... I think there were even actors who were talking about residuals, and then it's like, yo, look at my residuals, and it was, like, six cents. They're like, wow, I love having residuals. Yay! Yeah, and I think, <laughs> yeah, the issue is, like, we, you can't, like, it's too hard to pick and choose which people, generally speaking, get residuals for working at an art thing. So then it just yeah. turns into a giant, like, pool, Smart and part. then nobody gets anything. Yeah... And it's like it's always a very big dilemma of like, you know, if the if the animators are getting it, yeah, I feel like, or you know, like why writers would have to get it, and the director, and the actors, and like mm -hmm. producers, and you know, there's a million people that then theoretically should, which you know, and I think they should. I mean, I I think yeah, the second they hit that fucking make their money back, you know, or like they get like a ten percent profit, and everything else should go to the people who worked on it. Exactly. But that's just not how capitalism works, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. You know, they, they, there's not a cap on the profit margin that you're allowed to get. Especially as a big company. Not that that, yeah. not that they would even follow that law. They'd find workarounds, obviously. Oh, 100%. They always will. Um... Speaking of companies with, like, money stuff, somebody also said, my boss asked me one time why I was living at home, and I said most of four apartments in L.A. cost about 1.8K to 2.2K, and he said, well, that sounds affordable. Uh, and I told him to glance at my salary next time he signs my name on my bi weekly ch check. <laughs> like, yeah, like, uh, no. no, it is not affordable. Yeah, some people are just stupid, fun fact. Or, sorry, somebody... Somebody said they uh, left the day after they received the following email. The subject, leaving at 4.30. Good morning. Yesterday I popped down to talk to you and Lara at 4.29 and found that you had already left for the day. Please remain working until 4.30. I understand after balancing your till, there are those few extra minutes to spare. If you're needing to fill this time, feel free to check that the computers at the front have been restarted, the, the counter windows have been sanitized, and the printers are stocked with paper, etc. These tasks are not only quick, but super helpful, as I think they've had to get overlooked. <laughs> and they're like, sorry, they're mad that you left... At 429. <laughs> and you left a minute early. Oh, goodness gracious. How dare you? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, no. Shit like that's not obnoxious as hell. Oh, yeah. Somebody said they also, uh, they said, said, I kept complaining about how overworked I was, and when I finally left, they hired seven people to do my work. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I said, first job at a small animation studio. Hey, do we have an HR department? Yeah, if there's a problem, go stand out in the road till a car hits you. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, no. That... <laughs> it's one thing to say, no, we don't. It's another to say shit like that. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of HR, so another person said their HR sent out an email asking everyone at the company to give $100 to buy their CEO a birthday present. <laughs> Fucking dollars, Jesus Christ! Well, yeah, a it's the CEO, like, and be everyone, <laughs> and a hundred, not like, hey, chip, chip in like five bucks. <laughs> We're gonna buy him a nice little gift card or some shit. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, that's in that's utterly insane. Oh yeah. Sorry. And, and, people, and most also. people probably have never even met the CEO, unless it's like oh, a yeah. real small company. But even then, a hundred dollars. That yeah, that no nobody does that for like, you know, like the only people that spend a hundred dollars on birthday gifts are like middle class and rich parents for their children on their birthday. Like, and even like, then, they might not do that much. Really, like I think the most expensive thing you we've ever gotten each other was like you got me a switch, and not even because it, you got us a switch. It was our switch. And I think... <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that was more... For this, Yeah, well, yeah. The first one wasn't even, like, a gift. It was a dual purchase. The second one was kind of a gift, but more because I just wanted my own Switch. And it just kind of happened to work out that way. Well, it was gonna work out that way. That was the whole point of the purchase. Mm-hmm. I just think that's kind of funny that it's just, like... Anyway, then I'm like, I can't even... I'm like, we really don't get each other, like, that expensive of things otherwise. It was, like... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, anybody that expensive of gifts, somebody else. Like, the only person I've ever gotten that nice of a gift from was, like, literally my parents. <laughs> That's it. My literal parents, maybe my aunts, and that is it. Everyone. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> like, wait, wait, I would wait. never spend $100 on some random guy. What? Torchic succeeded? Why does Tepping fail, but Torchic succeeds? <laughs> That's because Torchic has the power of being a silent little bird. <laughs> Also, somebody said their HR lady called them a bitch and they couldn't even report it because they were the HR lady <laughs> that called That's... Them. Yeah, that's kind of insane. Uh, somebody also said a former colleague died at the pending disciplinary hearing for missing work because his boss didn't believe he was sick and then the boss decided to speak so beautifully at the memorial service. Yeah. <laughs> if that didn't happen. As if, yeah, he wasn't at least partially responsible. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Players when they have to take responsibility. Uh uh. So he said, I worked at a coupon company and the CEO moved his desk right behind me and would count the number of times he saw me on Facebook and send the tally to my boss. My boss had to explain that I designed the coupon code ads and had to confirm that they worked on Facebook, and yet he still didn't stop. <laughs> That's so fucking ridiculous. Yeah. No, some people are... Not so do you just... not know what happens at your own company, sir? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. You know what they say, the best way to be a boss is to be a control freak to everyone. Exactly. If you're not a control freak, your employees are never going to work. Oh, it's just, true. It's just a fact of life. I just think it's interesting how some employers are just so... Awful. Like, they're not even people. Yeah. Speaking of, somebody said, My grandmother was about to pass, and I went to my manager at uh, the Mermaid Coffee Place, generic brand, quote-unquote, uh, crying, asking for the next few days off. She looked at the schedule and said, well, if she dies tonight, you don't need to take off because funerals are usually three days later and you're already off. Oh my god. <laughs> like, <laughs> hello? Yeah, like, hi, how does it feel being insane? Um, then there's also another one where it's, when I worked at the movie theater, they had us do a competition. Whoever sold the most membership cards won a PS4. While trying to sell the card to an annoyed customer, he asked if I made a commission on it, that I realized I got paid the same $7.25 an hour no matter how well I did. It is then revealed in a different comment that I remember seeing this tweet. Um, yeah, the PS4 thing was a lie. Oh my god. I feel like <laughs> at that were, point uh, you can fucking, like, sue. 
Yeah, I think they mentioned they did it because they were like 17 and just didn't think about it, and so were like a lot of their other coworkers. Yeah, no, that is clear that they were just trying to abuse them. Oh, yeah. It's the whole GameStop thing with like selling memberships. Like, that whole program is like so scummy. And they're like horrible to a lot of their co like employees in terms of doing oh, yeah. it. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah. And that's why again. But I'm like, clearly that's the one reason I do not like GameStop. No, there's like six thousand. Unfortunately yeah. sometimes they're just convenient. I've never heard a good like I, every single thing I've heard about people who worked at GameStop, it's never a positive overall. At best experience. it's like, like neutral. Neutral. <laughs> Granted, then again, we're in America. How many people talking about their jobs are going to be positive? Well, I was trying to hit chinks there, but I hit Tepig, so I guess we're going for another four-star high score. Woo! That's the start. Had an animated pilot in the works. When they decided they didn't want it anymore, one producer just up and ghosted me because he's conflict avoidant, and the other showed up on my doorstep with two trash bags full of my art and pitch material that he threw on, that he then threw on the ground. <laughs> Did you have better things to do with your lives? <laughs> like... Yeah. Jeez. Uh, the answer is no. Yeah. I like the idea that they're like, oh, I can't tell you that we don't want this because I'm conflict avoided. You are the guy in charge. You have to do that. Yeah. That is your job. That's like not even that. If you're that. conflict avoided, you shouldn't be in charge of a product project. Yeah. That's not even I'm that. conflict avoided and I... I will go out of my way to go bother people if I think I need to. <laughs> like, yeah, no, like there's, yeah, and, and you can go about it in a way that is generally not conflict or as conflict inducing. Mm hmm. You know, like, a very like, first... a... Go ahead. a lot of that stuff is like more dependent on how you go about saying it oh yeah i mean yes there could be disappointment but it's not like they're probably not gonna take it out on you at least hopefully and if you oh, think yeah, if no, you they're... genuinely have a reason to believe that the individual would then go from there obviously oh but... yeah but like i feel like the people making the pilot would like to know if they no longer are making the pilot yeah i feel like most people would just be like you know oh that sucks and move on. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong, that's, there's always going to be disappointment. They're not going to, like, personally want you dead over it. That's just how the industry works. It's yeah, like, yeah. A lot of things just don't get greenlit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like, unless you know you have that one problematic employee who's likely to scream their head off over it, like, most people mm -hmm. will just be like, damn, that kind of sucks, oh well. And even then, if you know they're going to do that, just send them an email, and then, like, if they are weird about it, just don't answer their calls. Just be yeah, like, just, I will respond over like, email. literally the one person you, that might be problematic. Exactly. It's it's really not that hard. Come on, Shanks! Oh, wow. So he said, very first job in a room full of senior dudes, I was told to make the elves sexier. And when I did that as elegantly as possible with max respect to the established lore and world building, I was told no, like a stripper. And I can send you references, lol, and I've never forgotten. I want to point out, for some reason, just Tepig is unable to scare off Mandibuzz. For some this reason. Is... It just does a little poop with its fire. Epic and the discrimination. Mandib the Mandibuzz is just like, bro, what? Hey. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know why that is. That's kind of strange. The big old yeah. FU for some reason. <laughs> I'm not getting an arrow with this. But that's what if he yeah. Okay, well, I'll have like maybe half power to mess with Audino. Now then. I have to the top. Years ago, a former boss had been harassing me and trying to get me fired. I tried to be kind and talk to him about it. He tried to lie and accidentally sent me the message. He didn't know God told me to record the entire conversation. 
Uh, they literally sent the uh, OP a text saying, I wanted, I want to fire Gabrielle like yesterday. She literally just yelled at me on the phone and I told her the way she's communicating is not the culture I'm trying to create. She has some feedback for me. I literally just said, thank you. Let me think about it. And we'll get back to you. And she says, sir, you just sent this to me and I recorded our entire <laughs> conversation. So like, you know, nice tell that to whomever you said that to as well. <laughs> Oof, I'm yeah. just, I'm like, good for you. Mm -hmm. When I used to work at Old Navy, someone was stealing the anime buttons on my bag every day. I asked my boss if I could check the security footage, and they, she said that's not my problem. <laughs> no, okay. no, I think that is your problem. Exactly. This is... <laughs> So he said, a disability organization hired me. Day one, I went to this really far, inaccessible building in the middle of nowhere. They said there's a more central office I could work work from day two. I, I went there, I loved it, I decided to go back there on day three. And then they fired me because I went to the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, sorry. Who fires the... someone on day three for going to the wrong place when there's two places and you all- like, like, that's absurd! And it's a disability organization and OP wanted to go to the more accessible one for very obvious reasons. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Like, well, and, and to be like, yeah, the fact that they're firing them, the fact that they're firing them on the third day for a mistake like that is absurd. Just as is. <laughs> Which is funny because they told them they can work there. And they're like, all right. Yeah, and, <laughs> and it's just a like, miscommunication. I... Like, that is so obviously just a miscommunication. Like, <laughs> because they're new and they don't understand the systems yet. <laughs> like, you think you would have a talk about that. Like, sure, if it keeps happening, but... Yeah. They're weird. So he said, they work at a call center. The manager says, we've noticed you don't turn your computer on until 8 a.m. You need to be ready to... You need to be already ready to take calls by 8 a.m. I said, that's illegal. I get paid for every second of work I do. He says, I don't give a fuck about the law. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's another yeah, it's another thing of like, oh yes, micromanaging. That employees love it when you do that. <laughs> this is Of course. If there's times, yeah, where that's understandable, but like generally speaking, don't don't do that. Don't do that. You just end up with upset employees. Exactly. And upset employees work worse. What? No! Just 100% a fact. No yeah. way. And not to say that, yeah, every time an employee is upset is invalid, but like... <laughs> the whole, yeah, like, sometimes it's better to just be nice, even in criticism. To keep the peace. Okay. People don't despise working there. Wow. I know, you know, I, I do have some pretty crazy thoughts in my crazy head of mine. You're a little crazy thought guy. like a very specific timing on Ardino or something Hello. what's crazy is I'm probably gonna suddenly get it and not know what the fuck I did like that's what I feel like is gonna happen here oh yeah it totally will I mean, I feel like there's just so little you can do with Audino to nice begin work. with that, like, I just don't know. Nice work. Yeah. Like, I don't think there's an alter. I think it's literally got to be just one four star. Mm 
He's like, it doesn't like do anything when it's inside on the other level, and it just stands around in this one little tiny area. So I mean, unless there's some crazy thing I'm missing. Come on, it also would be very lame to Google just the last one. Yeah. I literally have not done that yet. Oh, I keep making Sudowoodo move. <laughs> Walk its noises. Whoop! 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 It dramatically <laughs> walks. A marching band. Oh boy. So you different if I only feed you once. Awesome. You go over here, huh? Can I get a different reaction on you? It reacts differently. Well. And the fact that, yeah, like the photo I have, the fact that it is so, uh, non-specific like i'm like am i even gonna realize i got the four star like a lot of times you see something you're like oh that's new am i gonna even realize it's something new <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. really higher audino one star yeah one star <laughs> i have to go down the list after this and see how many pokemon i have not gotten a new high score on like try to get a new at least one high score on every Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Even if it's only a, an improvement of like one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious. If I react any differently, if I don't even give it a. The fluff root. <sighs> you know, I'm a little desperate, not gonna lie. We're just testing shit. Happy I figured out that whole Tepig thing. Yes. Hey, we did a lot today. The past two days have been so productive. And I have no clue what made them more productive than other days, but we take it. You take it, you know, you, you take the little wins. Yeah, at least need needs a fluff fruit to be able to properly use its eyeballs, like any good bug does. Awesome. 
That's the stuff. I don't know, yeah, maybe, maybe my knowledge of the prior for four star is making this harder for some reason. Hard to say. Yeah. Um, Let's do this. Nice work. I'm gonna I'm probably hold off on Googling for now, but I probably have to Google it next time if I don't figure it out within a half hour of doing the next time. I, I have put a significant amount of time into this. around Trying to throw it to the kitty fly. The rat, the rat, the rat. What do the poo munchie? Little happy faces, right? The rat, the rat, the rat, the rat. The rat. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Nice. You mind? Slightly, something seems slightly what different there, but I'm not sure if I'm just making that up out of desperate. I did get it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Was it had something to do with like, the Illumina orbing both of them? They're both on frame. There's hope. Aliens are built on hope. <laughs> I think it has to do with Illumina orbing both right. of them. Perfect timing. Unless that somehow gives me a four star. What the fuck? Oh my god, we just did it. We just did it. We did it. Oh wow. Uh, did you just finish? I did. You got the diamonds now? I just that's uh, yeah, as far as I know. Yep. I'll do a I'll do a check in a, a moment. I want to see if I can recreate the Audino thing just out of curiosity. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like I can do an even higher score on that easily. 
if I understand what I'm doing. Um, I think it literally was just uh, Illumina orbing both of them that might have caused it to react slightly differently. Like, it's very subtle. Um, not, not really that good of a, a four star, if I'm being honest. Um, but I, uh, we might have just gotten all the diamonds. Which is a big ol' holy kind of shit moment. Okay, I'm gonna run it back. It'd be real funny to find out I missed like one somewhere. <laughs> Which is honestly feasible. Just given the sheer amount. Yeah, but honestly, as long as it isn't something stupidly hard, I'm sure you could do it. Yeah, yeah. Odds are I could figure it out. And at this point, like, given how things went the past two days, on the things that were otherwise probably on the harder end because I hadn't already gotten them, and most of them I at least tried a little bit, like, mm -hmm. I'm pretty proud of how this has turned out. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know what, what light switch flicked in my head. Um, but, damn it bright. <laughs> damn it bright. You didn't do it that time. This is weirdly specific, whatever the hell this is. How was it? Maybe there's music too in it? I So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna find it and then not be able to figure out how to recreate it. Let's see. Now that I'm gonna figure this out, but I also wanna go check all the Pokemon. Nice work. Nice work. I don't even think I really need to check any all the Pokemon. I could just check some of the ones that are on the lowest end. And if I get to... Because everything has to be above 16,000. So I immediately know if something's not. But things can be above 16,000 without everything being diamond. I'm like, if I go to like 20,000, I should be safe. Which is probably like half the Pokemon. But that's probably most of them, actually. <laughs> I just go through the last like three pages or something, and that should be enough to confirm. <laughs> Good. Good. Sorry, I just straight up watched a tortoise and a hare race, and the bunny literally just gave up halfway. Ah. So the, the lore was right. <laughs> so I said, as it is written, now it shall be, the hare never beats the tortoise. Like, the bunny was literally about to win, and it just, like, didn't. It, it felt bad. I just think it's so funny, like, the tortoise is, the tortoise is unchanging, just, yeah, I'm going forward, dude. Nah. Not even, the, like, I like how the bunny stops and the tortoise is just like, nah, I'll keep going. Just like not even remotely changing its speed, it's just a consistent crawl. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Okay. It looks like I have to Illumina Orb one or both of them and then play music. Hmm. Which is quite specific. Well. For something that is like literally it just kind of like waving around a little bit. I could definitely do even better on the scoring. I, I do want to really All right. this a go, but I'm also nice work. nervously, excitedly waiting to see. Great timing. Oh man. Mm -hmm. I've done a lot of check marks on this list of I've gotten diamonds on. There are a decent bit of Pokemon, yeah, from the looks of it, that I have not gotten any dynam diamonds on. Because I just never really needed to try. A lot of them, yeah, are cases where I just had full diamonds already. I just wasn't taking anywhere near as many photos of them. Mm hmm. And a lot of the legendaries are a good example of that. So do you want to make your prediction for what my lowest scoring Pokemon is? Um, 1,437. Okay, I meant like the actual Pokemon. Oh, sorry. And and I, the, the the total score would have to be over sixteen thousand for full diamonds. Oh, oh, total. I forgot you did full diamond. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no. The one of them's a thousand. I'm sure. <laughs> just trust. Just trust in the heart of the cards. Um, okay, your lowest score is going to be for. I don't know, Frostmoth, and it's going to be. 16,176. I honestly have no clue what to expect awesome. for it. Did I get it? I'm gonna miss it. Um, I'm trying to think what a good one would be. How was it? Because things have changed decently, but there's sort of a general theme of them. Um... No. Okay, one more shot. I don't need this, but I'm really trying. Um, I know Sphio was always unfortunately quite low. I know Sableye was another one that was always very low. Something small would make sense. Puku Muku or Minior. You know what? I'm gonna guess Minior, and I'm gonna guess that it's at like 16,500. Um, and you, you guessed Frozmoth at like 6,100? Or 16,100, kind of? That was just the first faraway Pokemon I could think of. <laughs> If you want to change your guess, let me know. Or you want to put in three predictions, even. Ooh. <laughs> Just throw out two other names. Hi. Moraviary. Okay. And I'll throw a wild card in there. I think you just really stink at taking a uh, freaking awesome. uh what's his name? You have it a Pokemon or are you Vi just... Vivian? Uh, Vi wait, Vivian? Yeah. Ooh. You know what? Yeah, if I'm gonna put three guesses in. I'm gonna say, oh crap, I already forgot what I said. Uh... 
Do I have to like hit the fucking cutie fly like midway through the air? What the fuck? I'm like not, I'm like struggling to recreate it. Um, I think wait, what, did I, what was the I had said? You remember what I said? <laughs> what the fuck did you say? Sorry. You remember what Pokemon I guessed? I'm blanking now. No. <laughs> I don't remember oh, what Pokemon or... you guessed. I said, Minio. Oh, that's actually a good guess. You remember guess. the three you guessed? Yeah, Frozmoth, Vivian, and Braviary. Okay, yeah, I'm guessing... Minior, I'm guessing Carbink. And I'm gonna guess... One's true. I'm gonna say... Pukumuku. Okay. Urban. Learn. It did it. What the f Okay. This Odino thing is so weird. Probably committing too hard for my own good now. It is just dumb. Like, no wonder it took me so damn long to figure this out. And yeah, and you're guessing the lowest score will be around 16,100? Yeah. I'm guessing it'll be around 16,500. Okay. I. Aki. <laughs> so true. After all, I'm one of the top 5,000 new Snap players in the world, maybe. Don't don't check that. But I, that it seems like a safe-ish guess. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> You probably shouldn't, because there's no fact-basedness to that. Hey, do you remember who Miranda Cosgrove is? Not sure. Oh, uh, she was. If you remember the show iCarly, she was Harley. Oh, uh, okay. I, uh, I guess the uh, she uh, opened up about in 2016, where she had a stalker. Uh, he lit himself on fire and shot himself in her yard. Uh. The man had previously shot at a woman who looked like her near her home. Oh, goddamn. Uh, Mild weird I'm behavior. Like, I'm just like, yeah, very normal behavior. It's surely not a like, sign that, that That's like not even like normal stalker behavior. Yeah, that's like... Or like celebrity, or at least celebrity stalkers, for the most part, we'll say. I mean, there's probably... But, like, most of them are doing it just because they're, like, weirdly in love and have no fucking sense of what's societally acceptable. Or just don't care. Oh, but, yeah. Like, this is, like, a whole new level of... Like, we needed a stalker to stalk him to make sure he was staying in line. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And then a stalker to stalk that person to make sure that they were actually doing their job. <laughs> okay. Just get like a 15 chain of stalkers all stalking each other. <laughs> that would be kind of funny, I'm we sorry. Just what would happen if we banished every stalker, like, person who's like actually a serious stalker, all to like one town that's like fenced in? Like, would they start stalking in a giant like circle stalk? What if two people choose the same person to stalk on accident? Do we have to like rock, paper, scissors, move it out? So do you remember that one very- Okay, so you remember that sometimes at camps they would like have everybody do rock, paper, scissors, but then you had to like follow the person you lost to, and eventually it ended up in like the room where it's like two big crowds of people, uh, all surrounding- like all in like their own teams of people, uh, because they're like all being like represented by one single dude playing 
rock, paper, scissors against the other dude who has a crowd of people behind him. Uh, I think that's what should happen when it comes to the stalkers. <laughs> is that they slowly have to, like, figure out who the best stalker is. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I feel like they are going to find... We, I, would the best stalker be the one who's the most noticed or the least noticed, though? Perfect timing. Smart. Because if it's the least noticed, then they wouldn't be able to form a crowd around him because they wouldn't find him. <laughs> I like to believe they have to form a crowd, but also, like, you, you know how, like... You remember the game Sardines? No. Not familiar. It was like hide and seek, where it's one hider and all seekers. Um, but every t but if a seeker finds you, they have to hide in the same oh, okay, space yeah, as you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about now. Uh, it's just that. <laughs> so you all have to like work together. They have to like train you to help stock. <laughs> Trust me. This and after, and then after five years of being caged in the city, we let them free into the public and see what ensues. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that would be a danger to women everywhere. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think we should. I think we should convince them they've been released back into society. Uh, but then like it's just all the stalkers it, that they missed while trying to round them up for this. Yeah, that are like okay, hear me out, right? We convince like we initially have them transported to an island, and we have like a recreated set of what society looked like just outside of what their set would be, right? Or We're like, or hey, you're going to be right out. outside this one major city, right? No, 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 hear me out. I'm okay, not done yet. Sorry, sorry. So you tell them, hey, we're going to put you in, like, this isolated thing, like, right by New York or whatever, some big city. Um, and But you're, like, in some random, like, isolated area. You make an entire reconstruction of New York next to the thing, right? But you're, they're still, like, closed off. But then when they leave it, they enter this fake New York where nobody's there. It looks, like, very clearly abandoned. It's been, like, plants have been overgrowing for a few years. Nothing is upkept. We convinced these people that ne that there was an apocalypse. <laughs> that is exactly what I was going to say. Is we try to convince them there was a zombie apocalypse, <laughs> and they throw them into the world. It's just a bunch of zombies on an island. <laughs> <laughs> We're so good at this. Yeah, we should really just take over the legal justice system. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh gosh. Did I get? I'm actually so fucking confused on this four star. Like, hey, you got it though. I know, but I'm like struggling so much to redo it. I'm like, I just want to. I'm like, okay, now that I know what to do, I can go get a high score that's even better. Proceeds to not be able to get it at all. <clears throat> okay, I didn't get it. Again. Okay, I give up. I don't know what it was. You know what? Excuse me, I don't- I literally do not understand this. You know what? I'm gonna look this up, just for my sanity. New Pokemon- I- I did get it, so... I do know for start, cause this shit is like... Weird. Uh, the set I normally use... Look Oh, apparently I just need to throw aluminum orbs at Arduino while it's dancing. I did not get off balance. That's weirdly. I see a lure Arduino to the sofa inside the laboratory and take a picture of it sitting down. What? <laughs> what? You can do that? Apparently. Are we getting mute trucked? Uh, look, sure, I'll look up the Arduino world record because i'm just curious because i'm yeah i'm at such a loss with this very specific thing oh uh, let me see where is my okay i'm just gonna search that I have too many bookmarks nice work so i know what this is out of curiosity mm -hmm. give it a sec a little slow then I also want to verify I actually did get all the diamonds. There we go. No, not there we go. Oh, come on. Oh, this is nice and laggy. So that's the wrong place. So apparently I don't even know where I'm going. Oh.
Oh my, oh my god, that's awful. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm just imagining see... how much effort went into this. Can you show it? I'll send it to you. Actually, I'll show it on screen, that's probably a better way to do it. My god. The amount of effort that had to have gone into this. Oh my goodness gracious. To say that they got, they lured not only, yeah, the normal Sudowoodo and Trubbish and Rath, they got the fucking Dedean, Pikachu, and Starly in the photo. My god. Like, holy crap. That, that is... Wow. I, I like how if I, even if I saw this, I would have no clue what the fuck the, the photo was of. Because this one is just s sort of weird. Well, hey, at least I can move up a little bit, because where was I before? I was the literal last <laughs> score before. <laughs> now I'm going to be like, I'm going to go from like 55 to like 50. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's start my score. What is the lowest? It is... Oh, Clam Pearl. Damn. Okay, here's the funny thing, looking at this. Uh, none none of our six guesses were even in like the bottom eighteen. <laughs> oh my god! But the lowest scoring one is sixteen thousand two hundred sixteen. So you were a little closer there. It was clam pearl. I'm shocked that some of these are as low as they are. Joltik Sh doesn't shock me actually though. Joltik's hard. Just yeah, tiny... just because it's so small. Things are looking pretty good here. Nothing that I've caught as of yet. I think I should have every diamond. Probably still go for a few more high scores, because yeah, there's a decent bit of Pokemon that I have not gotten a single... I score on since getting back. That would be fun to mess with. Wow, oh, Carbink is shockingly high. Those ones. There's definitely a few things in here I could probably get higher scores on. Just by looking at the photos I have of them. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sure there's literally every photo I could get a high score on, but... You know, I'm only putting in so much effort for this. <laughs> yeah. I'm like happy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm fine. I don't think there's an easy way to check if you got all the diamonds without having to literally manually go through. So I got. I got to spend a little. I still have to do a home base core score run. I never really tried in that one. I I forgot it on the original run through, and then I got it by accident while doing high scores, but never put in a full attempt at it. Mm. Is on the to-do list. Okay, I'm gonna assume I'm good then. Yep. You know what? Actually, I was very close to just being done. I should probably <laughs> just just to be a hundred percent safe. And this also proves on record that I did it. You did it! Yay! Mm 
Plasma. There is an Illuminas. Yep. Oh. We did it! Okay, I don't I'm like, do I have anything new on the map? There's no exclamation mark. Dingus. How that word? <laughs> okay. Delete that. Um yeah, no, uh That is every dive. I can't believe I got another five today. Uh, looking at the list of things, yeah, there's a decent bit of Pokemon I haven't gotten any high scores on. Nothing on, like, Aerodactyl, Ariados, uh, Blastoise, Bunnelby, Salaby, Charmander, some more in here, Dodrio, etc, etc. So I probably will do a little bit more high scoring just for fun. And then the little mm -hmm. core score. And then maybe I'll take a break. I, it would be cool to come back to the game and still go for high scores down the road. But, you know, eventually I'll have to... There's other shit I should also do in my life. <laughs> so. I'm, I'm really happy with this. This turned out very nicely. Uh, that is officially, yeah, all the diamonds and new snap. We're gonna have to wrap things up here, though. Next time, yeah, we'll spend a little bit more time going for a few high scores and maybe doing home base core score and stuff. Uh, we'll kind of see from there how many more snap days we want to do and just kind of wing it. But, yeah, that'll wrap things up. Thank you guys for tuning in. Bye-bye.